guys, welcome to Blaine County Survivor Man. Hey guys, today on Blaine County Survivor Man, I want to take you back in here into the dismal swamp. That's not the great dismal swamp, but the swamp that's created by some beaver dams that cause us to have water in these falls that you see behind me right here. I'm going to go back in there and show you the beaver uh, dams and uh, show you a few tricks on how to survive if you come up on some of this stuff. So, we've got plenty of water in the falls right now, and that's because of the beaver dams that are upstream from here about two and a half miles. Well, guys, uh, right now I'm right in the middle of the swamps that's created by these beaver dams. Back up in here, you can see this ain't nothing but thick brush all the way around me. And uh, I'm looking right over here right now at some uh, uh, steel water, so I know I'm coming up on one of these long dams created by these beavers. And uh, I don't know if the local trappers has trapped everything out of these dams <coughs> right now or not, but uh, we're going to check it out right here. What I want to tell you is, in a survival situation, if you come up on a beaver dam, you've come up on an actual grocery store in the woods because beavers dam up water. Ducks will actually, you know, hide and nest on that, on those little dams. Everything that you can imagine from crawdads to snakes to turtles, uh, birds, squirrels, deer of all kinds will uh, hang out in these places because they're tough to get to. So we're going to go over here and take a look and see what we can find. Okay, guys. Right there, some fresh cutting right there. And I still I see some right under the water over there. So, And over that, there's some beavers still left in the pond. Whether they're kits, I don't know, which means that would be a young beaver left inside there. So we'll go up this stream right here and... Uh, See how far up they've got this damned up. Well, guys, I just come up on where the Appalachian Trail crosses this uh, beaver swamp in here. So that's what I'm on right now is the Appalachian Trail. And I'm heading south on the Appalachian Trail. I'm going to walk around here and uh, see where it goes to right around here on the edge of this creek. I just seen a couple of hikers there just a few minutes ago and uh, I figured that's what they were doing. I didn't know I was that close to the edge of the trail though. Okay you all, I found the, finally found this beaver dam over here. Let you all take a look at it right over there. You can see back that way. See that tree's laying down over there and those sticks are sticking up. You can also see that gnawed tree right over there across the dam. I'm going to try to get over in a second. And uh, right over there is where the uh, beaver's lodge is, if there's any left in it. Uh, don't look like that tree's been gnawed on that much. Anyway, right there you can see a little crossing there where they come back and forth between these pools. That would be a good place to set up a snare, a cable snare to catch one of them. So uh, let's go across, the, see if we can get across over here and see if we can uh, get a picture of the, the entrance to this beaver lodge. Okay guys, I'm standing right over here on top of this beaver lodge. I'll let y'all see what it looks like. See where one of the local trappers has dug a hole down in there, trying to scare out the beaver. And from the looks of it, I think they did. And right there's where they enter in their lodge, right down there. In a minute, I'll try to get you a, an underwater video of that opening right there. But you can see how they they cut that tree over there, and they laid it right over here toward their lodge so they could swim underwater. If it iced up, 
and cut those pieces off, but I don't see anything cut off, so I guess the, the trappers has finished this lodge off. Guys, like I said before, when you find a beaver pond like this right here, it's got acres and acres of water dammed up. You found yourself a gold mine in a survival situation. There ain't no doubt about it. I just hate the fact that uh, some of the locals have come in here and uh, almost annihilated all the beavers that are in this pond. When you do that, you, you just uh, mess up a good ecosystem for all kinds of wildlife because you can see right behind me here a break in this beaver dam because there's no beavers around to patch up that break. So when that happens, sooner or later the whole thing will drain out and there goes that good ecosystem down the drain. Not a very good idea, is it? Just to get one more skin, take out all the beavers in here just for 40 bucks, don't make a lick of sense to me. Anyway, guys, get out here in, in your world. Check out the surroundings around you. Uh, learn to survive. These, like I say, these beaver ponds right here have been known to have native trout in them, lizards, frogs of all kinds, snakes, ducks, you name it. The owls live here, the deer live here. Everything lives up here next to this beaver pond. So, guys, that's another tip from your Bland County Survivor Man. Have a nice day.